All of our favorite memories were always in nature. We'd always go exploring in the nearby woods that surrounded our house and just play make-believe and just let our imaginations run wild and all the times that we would spend in the ocean were the same. My dad was a free diver. It was how he provided for us and so some of my favorite memories are free diving with him. I can't really remember the last time my sister and I were in the ocean together and that sounds so strange to say that because we grew up playing at the beach and we grew up swimming together. When we became adults, that's when I really got into free diving. I just knew that I had found what made me the most happy and I got better at it and it ended up taking me places. And I always wanted to return to that element with my sister. What is wonderful is we both still love the ocean completely. What's difficult for me is I can't keep up with free diving. What I love about scuba diving is I can stay underwater and be a little bit more on the same level to be able to keep up with her. I haven't dove for about two years and it's because I got pregnant and had a baby and I just haven't gone scuba diving since I had my son. The minute I mentioned the possibility of us going scuba diving together, she was just over the moon. I think it's going to be really fun to go scuba diving together. I'm excited to do the refresher course because while I'm hoping things will come back, I don't fully remember and I want to get those skills down before we hop in the water again. Able to share the experience of the underwater world with someone that I love as much as my sister. It just makes me more excited for diving than I've been in a long time. I think that anyone who hasn't been practicing scuba on a regular basis will benefit from being reactivated. It gives you this confidence boost, it gives you all the skills, and it just gives you all the support that you need so that you feel confident, you feel safe, and you feel ready. <laughs> Good. Now let me know you're okay. Well, I'm really excited. I feel like Christy and I haven't explored the underwater world together since we were like literally children. So this is kind of like a really cool reunion to the environment we grew up in, to our roots, but on a whole new medium. And so it brings a sense of excitement and nostalgia. It's pretty, pretty awesome, pretty special. Our instructor Peter was great. I mean, he was just very knowledgeable, very calm, and very comfortable. And what I loved about Peter is that he had the perfect amount of interacting with us, of showing us things, but also just allowing us to explore on our own. Peter loves his job. This is what he's meant to be doing. This is what he loves to do, and he is such a good teacher. I love the tiger shark just kind of was swimming and then she turned and she started to come towards us and just trying to keep myself calm and it was amazing. Every cell in my body was just celebrating. Like every single part of me was just so happy because that's a very rare thing to happen. But she kind of came like right towards us and it, I was so excited, but then I was like, Ooh. <laughs> And she just came straight in, right at us. I can feel so Christy awesome. just squeezing my arm, which I loved. I don't know, I just, when I squeezed her arm, I felt safer. Look, okay. Christy, okay, there's dolphins right there. The main thing that I've always loved about the ocean is it's always so different. The ocean is always moving and that's what keeps me so present and I guess it's something that I always credited to free diving but now to have that same overwhelming sense of satisfaction.
really makes me grateful to live in this beautiful world. I think she is most excited for the night diving. And I am too, I've never gone night diving with the manas before. So that just sounds absolutely magical. Now who's seen a manta ray so far? Right? They're swimming all around. They're waiting for supper to begin. We're hoping that those lights are gonna attract plankton and the manta rays are gonna come and feed on the plankton attracted to the lights. The adult females are about 12 feet across. They weigh about a thousand pounds. Some are very friendly, some are very shy. So hopefully we're gonna get a bunch of manta rays to come over in here and feed tonight. We're getting ready for our last dive of the trip and first night dive ever. Yes, we're so excited. I want to see the mantas. It's been a wonderful experience so far, but that would just be the cherry on top. <laughs> that manta experience was amazing. There was absolutely no fear for the manta dive. It was just complete bliss. It just felt like we are all ocean people. We are here with respect and we're taking our seats. And it honestly was like going to like a very polite, well-behaved underwater rave of sorts. It was just so amazing to be so close to animals that are, are actually coming towards you. And they're so beautiful. The shark, the structure exploration, that all felt like adventure and exploration and discovery. Whereas the mantas, in a way, it was just like the grand finale. To have that experience, it just puts things into perspective about what a big, beautiful world, what a big, beautiful ocean this is. And I have to say, I felt like the ocean was just celebrating the fact that we're both back in it together.